Hey Deckers, Lies of P demo dropped yesterday thanks to the Summer Game Fest. We thought we'd dive in and have a look on the Steam Deck and it runs perfectly fine out of the box. However, I have some very warped opinions of this game. If you like your Souls likes and you absolutely loved Elden Ring but didn't like the fact that it gave you so much in rewards, then you're gonna love this game. The graphics are absolutely superb, the gameplay I have mixed opinions on. Best settings on this one, if you do not care about your battery life or you're going to be playing plugged in, then you want to put the frame rate limit on the deck at 60 frames per second, keep the refresh rate at 60. In the in-game settings, come in and set motion blur off, and on the graphic settings, change the max frame limit to 60, but keep AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution 2 on because without it, it will not hold 60 frames per second. I'm going to change the graphic quality preset up to medium. This will give you a 50 to 60 FPS experience all of the time, and it does look absolutely phenomenal on the Steam Deck screen. Without the AMD Adality FX, you will be down into the 30s and 40s, and you'll get quite a lot more stutter. And considering this game is massively reliant on being able to parry and dodge, you do not want to have those frame stutters at any point. But this game punishes you regardless anyway, and the parry system sucks in my opinion. So hopefully they make some adjustments to this from the demo, but for now, I'm not a huge fan. Compatibility wise, there is nothing you need to do. You can run this out of the box with no compatibility, and it does compile shaders the first time into the game, which only takes around 30 seconds, but obviously improves gameplay quite a lot. For those that do care about their battery life or are going to be playing away from power for a while, you do want to come in and set the frame limit to 40 in game, keeping motion blur off, keep VSync on and AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution 2 on quality and have the graphics quality preset on low. Set the Steam Deck to 40 Hertz cap and 40 frames per second cap and this will get you a solid 40 frames per second all of the time. The wattage will creep up to 23 occasionally, but it does also come down into the 15 to 16 range when there's not as much going on, whereas in the previous settings, it was pretty much stuck at 29 watts all of the time. This will give you around two hours on battery life, depending on the areas that you're playing in, so it's definitely the better for battery life and still looks great at low settings. Overall though, this game, I really hope that they bring a lot more to it. Maybe it's just because it's a demo, but there was little to no story or dialogue, and there seems to be absolutely no point in killing anybody in this game does. It gives you no experience, it gives you some minor items, but the sword art parry kind of system is really hard to pull off and it just is barely worth it half the time. You have to get it timed absolutely perfect and with every enemy having a variety of moves that all have different timings, the parry system just does not seem to work. As I said, you don't seem to get any experience from killing anybody, so it just seems like you could run through the entire game trying to avoid everybody and actually have more fun trying to escape the horde. Let me know in the comments below if this is a game that you're going to be picking up or whether you're actually going to wait for the full game. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.